Welcome friends. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity uh, configuring a uh, RIP version 2. This packet tracer activity is from uh, CCNA routing and switching module 2. In this uh, packet tracer activity, we are uh, going to uh, configure a RIP version 2 and uh, finally we are going to verify the configurations. We will come to part 1. Configure a RIP version 2. Configure RIP version 2 on R1. Uh, use the appropriate command to create a default route on R1 for all internet traffic to exit the network through serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. So we will set this uh, default route on R1 first. We will come to R1. Yes. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to give IP root 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 space 0, .0, .0, .0 space and the exit interface is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Uh, next is enter a RIP protocol configuration mode. Okay, and use version 2 of the RIP protocol and disable the summarization of networks. Yes, we will do uh, these two step now on R1. Coming to R1. Yes, we will go to RIP. So, router RIP. Now, we have to... Uh, give a version 2 command so we have version and here we can see 2 now we are going to uh, disable the auto summary so we have uh, now auto summary next is a uh, configure a rip for the networks that connect to r1 yes here we can see um, it is connecting uh, two networks actually we have three but here we set uh, default route and we have two more networks that is 192.168.1.0 and even we can see one network between r1 and r2 that is 192.168.2.0 so we are going to configure these two networks we will come to r1 yes we have the command network and we are going to specify the network address which is coming to r1 192.168.1.0 and uh, we have to press enter and we have one more network 192.168.2.0 yes and next is uh, configure the LAN port that contains uh, no routers so that it does not send out any routing information yes here uh, on R1 we can see uh, one LAN port uh, which is not uh, connecting to a uh, router. So that interface uh, we will verify that it is uh, yes gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. We will uh, uh, configure this uh, uh, interface as uh, passive interface. Coming to R1. Yes. Here we are going to uh, set. Uh, Yes, we have passive interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Yes, we set this interface as passive interface. Next is advertise the default route configured in step 1A with other RIP routers. Yes, here we set uh, the default route on R1. So, uh, we are going to uh, advertise the default route. Uh, with the other uh, RIP routers. Yes, we will do it on R1. Coming to R1. We have a default information originate. Yes. So, we are going to go give this command. Now, we are going to uh, save the configuration uh, on R1. So, we have a copy running to startup. Yes. Now we will go to uh, step 2. Configure RIP version 2 on R2. Enter RIP protocol configuration mode. Okay. Use version 2 of the RIP protocol and disable the summarization of networks. Uh, 
yes these two we will do right now on r2 we will come to r2 enable configure terminal and we have to go to uh, uh, router rip and we are going to give the version 2 also we are going to disable uh, auto summary next is configure a rip for the networks directly connected to r2 yes coming to the topology here we can see the router r2 and we can see uh, three networks uh, connected to r2 uh, here 192.168.2.0 192.168.3.0 and 192.168.4.0 we will configure these networks coming to r2 yes uh, we have network 192.168.2.0 and we have 3.0 yes i am going to replace that and one more is 4.0 yes next is configure the interface that contains uh, no routers so that it does not send out a uh, routing information yes on r2 we can see uh, the lan port which is not connecting to a router so this interface is uh, gigabit ethernet to 0 slash 0 Yes, we will set this interface as passive interface. Coming to R2. Here we are going to uh, set the passive interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Now we are going to save the configuration uh, on R2. Coming to R2. Yes, we have copy running to startup. Yes. Now we will go to step 3. Configure RIP version 2 on R3. Uh, repeat step 2 on R3. Yes. So here we can see our R3 uh, router and also we can see the two networks uh, which is connected to R3 192.168.4.0 and uh, uh, one uh, LAN here we can see 192.168.5.0 so here obviously the passive interface is uh, uh, this gigabit ethernet to 0 slash 0 on R3 so we will do uh, the configuration on R3 now coming to R3 CLI yes enable configure terminal here we are going to give uh, router rip and the version is 2 and now we are going to disable the auto summary using no auto summary and we are going to give the network we have seen 192.168.4.0 and we have one more that is 5.0 and now we are going to uh, give the passive interface uh, that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 yes part 1 completed now we will come to uh, part 2 uh, verify configurations uh, so in that step 1 view routing tables of r1 r2 and r3 use the appropriate command to show the routing table of r1 and we can see the uh, characters like c and we can see the local root cl uh, and also the default root listed view the routing tables uh, for r2 and r3 and notice that each router has a full uh, listing of all 192, 168, uh, uh, x.0. That means we have seen uh, till 5, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, and 5.0. So this networks and a default route. Yes, we will uh, verify this configuration now. First of all, we will come to R1. enable here we are going to sh see the uh, routing table using show ip root yes here we can see uh, all the networks we can see 1.0 here we can see the 2.0 yes uh, yes here we can see and 3.0 4 4.0 and 5.0 so uh, it is uh, learned with the help of uh, rip uh, version 2 protocol yes also we can see uh, the default root yes star here yes 
now we are going to see the routing table uh, on the rotors R2 and R3 uh, coming to R2 show IP route yes here we can see all the networks 1.0 2.0 3.0 then we have 4.0 and 5.0 and also we can see the default route here coming to R3 uh, we will just uh, save the configuration using copy uh, uh, running to startup and we will check it show IP route yes here also we can see all the networks 1.0 2.0 3.0 4.0 and 5.0 also we can see the default route coming to the last step uh, in part 2 uh, verify full connectivity to all destinations every device should now be able to ping every other device inside the network in addition all devices should be able to ping the web server Yes, we will uh, verify this uh, full connectivity now. We will check the connectivity from uh, PC1. Command prompt. Uh, here I am going to ping to PC2, PC3 and also to this web server. Uh, here we can see the IP address of PC2 and PC3, 3.0 and uh, this is a network, 3.0. So IP address of PC2 is uh, 3.10 and uh, uh, PC3 is uh, 5.10 so we will ping that ping 192.168.3.10 yes we are getting the replay now we will ping to pc3 that is 5.10 yes we are getting the replay now we will ping to a web server so here is ping uh, 64.100.0.10 0 0.10 yes so we will check that yes we are getting the reply yes that's all this packet tracer activity from a ccna routing and switching uh, module 2 small packet tracer activity but quite interesting friends if you have any doubt uh, in this packet tracer activity uh, or even in a CCNA routing and switching, please comment below. If you like my videos, give a thumb. Also, we, ha we will have all the packet tracer activities from CCNA routing and switching. So, uh, for getting this information, so you can subscribe my channel. Stay tuned. Thank you.